Welcome back to Shoulder Challenge Month. We're on week two, day 11. Today we are going to be going over cervical workspace. Now, essentially what that means is what is the workspace in which our neck can go through the biggest range of motion possible? Two caveats to this one. First, if you have sharp pain, we want to make sure we know where that sharp pain is at. So when we go through the biggest circle for our neck and if we come off to the side and ah, there's sharp pain, I want you to diminish the angle or come back to neutral and then go around and continue. Okay. Again, we're going both directions. I want you to also try backwards or forward or in the opposite direction in which you rotated because the other direction you might not have that sharp pain. Usually if you do have sharp pain, if these were the bones, they'd either be rotating or tilting on one another, thus pinching off the nerves that come out the neck, down to the arm, or out and supplying any other organ tissue locally. So that is the one caveat. Second caveat is if we have dizziness when moving the neck, and I'm talking vertigo, I'm talking like the room is spinning. If so, we want to diminish the angle and then add twice as many reps or circles as you possibly can. If you still have dizziness with that, again, I'd highly suggest going see a medical practitioner that specializes in vertigo symptoms, neck, whether that's chiropractor, physical therapist, neurologist, just some suggestions. Again, this is your health. It's personalized to you. If you're concerned, I'd go check it out. <laughs> So those are the two caveats. If you have dizziness, if this is really bad, I want you to go back to shoulder workspace and also scapular workspace for today as the assignment, okay? Now, for the cervical workspace, we want everything to be led with the chin. So as you can see from the video below, I'll start playing this here. We want to depress the shoulders down so we're lengthening the tissues, as you can see in this upper back, which go to the rib cage, which also influence the shoulder. And we want to make sure that when we come down, we're sweeping across the front, and then we're making the biggest slow circle possible. Again, there's going to be some tightness for most everyone, both directions, but everything I want you to go through the circle is led through the chin. Imagine if there's a a marker, a pen on the chin, and that we would make the biggest circle we possibly can on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, okay? So you can see in which you rotate, you should feel stretch in the opposite side in which you rotate the neck, both forward and backwards. I, got, I just showed a front and side view image. If you have to go back through this video to watch that, by all means, please do. But today, we wanna make sure that we're doing this multiple times throughout the day, okay? And this is something that ideally everyone should be able to perform uh, every single day, because it's personalized to each person, depending on the end range of motion that they can achieve. So we want at least three to five circles, both directions, anywhere from five to 10 times today. So. Today, we want to make sure we're setting our reminders on our phones, go to the alarm, the clock setting, and go to every hour, set an alarm. Once that alarm goes off, go into the cervical ranges of motion. Uh, this is important, okay? We want to make sure we're attacking the muscles, tissues, segments above the shoulder, and eventually we're going to get to the ones below the shoulders. Now, with the rotational movements, we're attacking some of the joint capsules and the deeper structures of the neck, which are the first to communicate to the brain, so you don't have overlying muscle tightness, thus guarding out to the shoulders as well, which is also why we are depressing our shoulders downwards to lengthen the tissues throughout the biggest circle possible. So, three to five reps each set, anywhere from five to 10 sets today. And then I would highly suggest to keep doing this one all the way throughout your everyday life. And that is cervical workspace for today. Have a great day and have fun with this one. <laughs>